Um, I remember, I remember doing some studies, um, and, you know, watching mankind in his studies and him talking about the temperature of our planet or our realm increasing by um, three degrees Celsius and three degrees Celsius is literally um, 37.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't seem like a whole lot. That's cold. You know, it's 37 degrees. That's cold. But this is a slight increase in the temperature. Right now we see um, a lot of areas where there are warm waters and the fish, you have fish that are dying or trying to get out of the waters but sometimes the water is just too hot for the fish and the fish wants to cool off. So they are getting out of the water and dying or sometimes the water is just boiling them to death. All right. Um, this is all a part of evolution and this is, uh, something that happens with every planetary body. Even as we grow, you know, there's sometimes at night when we, um, everyone goes through hot flashes, especially we as the original people, you know. Those hot flashes, you're just heating up at night. You're evolving. You're evolving into a new or different species of being. And this is nothing but pure science, brothers and sisters. This is science. This is a part of our everyday um, life. Well, we are evolving. I'm pretty sure there are brothers and sisters right now who, who, you know, right now you're sleeping. You wake up in the middle of the night. You pull all the covers off and you're sweating because you're going through a state of evolution. Your body is evolving. And this is what's happening with our planet. Our planet is literally evolving. And these beings are scared of 37 degrees higher. Three degrees Celsius. Three degrees Celsius is 37.4 degrees higher, which means that it's a slight temperature that their bodies are not able to withstand. But they, at the same time, don't belong here. They don't belong here. So they're trying to um, calm down the effects of evolution by wanting to create a freeze. You see everything that they do, you know, even with, within our galaxy, you know, alone, we, we have, um, in our galaxy alone, there's the evolutionary process that's happening in our galaxy. And we are seeing this happen in real time. So we have a whole enemy. Who's, he's all vegan. <laughs> we have a whole enemy who's made a decision as if they're rulers of this realm. We have a enemy. You know, they, they, they want us to think that they they want us to think that they are the rulers all right they want us to think that they can do whatever they want to do but i'm here to share a clear message out to all of you inorganic beings on my planet on my realm and you think that you're going to do whatever you want to do this stops today this stops today yeah, we know what you're doing. And it's time for us to get rid of you. We said that the year 2024, timekeepers, all of the high, the, 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 the council say the year 2024 be the year of death and destruction. And we're going to make sure that this happens. 
as we can see now, their so-called leaders are dying. The Pope is dying. All right. Jacob Rothschild has already died. All right. Their new king has got a terminal cancer that cannot be cured and he's dying. And there's more. They think because they have sacrificed their own who were involved in these illicit behaviors that they think that that that's going to suffice, but it's not. Evolution still has happened, still is happening. And you got to understand when you tell when, when, when they put in that book called the Bible, the Christ energy, this is nothing but pure evolution taking place. It's our realm, our planet going through hot flashes. And when you when you when a woman is in menopause, that's just she's evolving into a different woman. She is evolving into a more powerful woman. She's more stable. She's more into herself. This is this is a part of evolution. So evolution is happening. But they're afraid. And now that the waters are changing. Now here here hear this out, brothers and sisters. I want you to hear this out. Because so many of us, the the waters within in, in our bodies have shifted. We are nature, we're the nature of this planet. Because the water within our bodies has shifted. The waters within our realm are shifting as well. We are literally the catalyst of everything that you could possibly think of. And they're afraid. So they want to freeze. Why? Because if we do a flash freeze and if we can kill off these original people, then we can have the planet to ourselves. It ain't happening, motherfuckers. It ain't happening. See, you have embarked upon a journey where you have no idea how it ends. You have embarked upon a journey where you have this idea that you want to stop something that is unstoppable. We have our sun. We have our moon. We have all these planets around us. We have our planet. And nature is wakening her children in the masses. Nature is awakening her children in the masses. And we are going to take this journey and we're going to take back everything that belongs to us. And we're going to get rid of this inorganic species, no matter how they may feel. No matter how, oh, you can't do this and we can not do this. It's time to go. It's time to wipe the slate clean. And make sure that they don't return and make sure no one else creates anything and brings it here again. We'll have a tough watch on our realm and our planet. Three degrees Celsius is what they fear. 37.4 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a fear for them because like I said, it might seem like a slight temperature. But their bodies are not designed to hold such energy. And therefore, they have this idea that they want to protect their people by infecting our planet with all types of chemicals that are designed to offset the balance of our planet. And we'll say no more. As a cosmic prince, as a cosmic elder, I speak, and I, I speak deeply from the soul of nature. No more motherfuckers. No more. This shit is over. This shit is over. Take your L and take it and take it in stride. You came here to fight us. 
You came here to battle us. You came here to conquer our planet. Because that's who you are. You are you design your your programs are designed to conquer planetary bodies. But you came and messed with the wrong planet. Alright? You can't even mess with the wrong planet. You know the power of the original people. You know how powerful we can be. You know everything about us. And you wanted to make sure that we didn't know. But guess what? You cannot stop the inevitable. It is impossible for you to stop the inevitable. You have those scrolls, and you have, you have you have all these ideas, all your species. You coming together, having meetings, trying to figure out what to do. And I'm watching your meetings, and I'm watching everything that you're doing. And you coming together, and you think you're gonna stop us? No. 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 All of you are about is saving your species. That's what you're all about. You're all about saving your species. We told you to shut down your program. And you refused to do that. We told you to stop what you're doing. To let go all of our people who you put in your prison system. And you refused to do that. Alright? We told you. You created all these different species. Well, I can't say your forefathers did, but you still benefited off of your Arabs and your Asians. You still benefited off of them. We are evolving and you cannot stop this. We're gonna to continue to evolve and it's gonna happen without you, all right? But you're not freezing my planet. I can guarantee you that. You're not freezing my planet. You're right. All right. Yata na katarasa kamada moshamogada. You're not freezing my planet. All right. We've learned you. We see who you are. And now, we know how to get to the head. We must first destroy the tail. And then the head follows. You came and played a game. We are not game players. We don't play games. We're about reality. You have this idea that you're powerful because you took technology from the original beings and you did some reverse engineering and you did this and did this but you still can't go out of space you still can't go through gateways and portals huh you still can't evolve your system can't evolve your people sure as hell don't evolve so what's the problem you're the problem We're done with you. It's over. This is your message. And all of your scientists and everything that you plan, you got planned. We we see your plans. Yes, we see your plans. The darkness is taking over. April 8th. We're coming into a new age. And it's going to be an age of total destruction on massive levels. And you know that your people will suffer. Evolution is happening. This is the reality of it all. They're afraid of everything raising three degrees Celsius which is literally 37.37.4 37 
degrees Fahrenheit. Slight cool temperature. It makes a big difference in everything. Remember, as we shift, our realm shifts. And as we focus on the destruction of an enemy that is here, they become obsolete. Everything that you do from this point on, we have already cursed you, but your curse has been enhanced. And everything that you do from this point on will fail. Even your very thoughts will fail you. You will think to do something so detrimental and the thought will leave you immediately and you will forget what you were thinking about. All of you, you know, can't beings, your time is up. We were forced to be among you, but now we're not anymore. This is the beginning of a new journey for the original people of this realm. And I will help them all get to this next place where we're supposed to be. Understand who we are, brothers and sisters. Understand who your enemies are. They were never your friends and they never will be your friends. Let's keep it like that. Evolution is happening. And we're on the roll.